Kean, cool, calm Kean's back. Mm -hmm. Another goal from the spot. And in fairness, maybe a bit disappointed with a draw. Maybe should have felt like we could have got three points there. But credit to the lads for fighting back from a losing position and, and getting the point. Yeah, I thought we should have should have gone on in, uh, in at half time, winning really. Um, and then second half, it's it's a more open game. They come after us a little bit more. Um, they hit the post a couple of times, then score way at the post, and then managed to get a penalty and score. Um, I think on the dominance of the game, I think we should have we should have won. But from one nil down at that point, I think we would have we would have took we would have took a point to go home. With. It's been something that we've done very well this season, coming back from losing positions. And it's, it, there must be a belief in in that dressing room that if we do fall behind, we yeah. can get back into it. Oh, of course, we've shown that time after time that we can um, we can come back from losing positions. It's not a position we ever want to really be in. We don't really prep for that, but it's it's sport and you can fall behind and it's about getting yourself up off the floor and, and, and trying to trying to put things right. Um, luckily enough today that came from me from the penalty, um, which I'm I'm more than happy to do. I've been all season and um, just disappointed we couldn't get a winner at the end really. Um, I think we had numerous chances to even equalise before I managed to. Um, but not to be, but that's four points off Solihull who are uh, above us mm. in the table. Um, we've took four points off them. We've took four points off Bromley, who are, are again above us in the table. Teams around us, Halifax, have yeah. took all six. So um, looking forward to teams at the wrong end of the table now that um, we've 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 come unstuck against um, over the over the season. Um, and I'm sure lads' motivation and mentality will be there to go and put them right. Well, you know, you can always argue that maybe we should have done better against some of the teams lower in the table, but that is what it is. I guess when you're in that battle for the playoffs and you are doing well against yeah. those other teams in the playoffs, it's got to give us a bit of confidence. A million percent. You face two different tests, really. You face the teams that are scrapping to stay in the league um, and you face the test of the, the teams that are trying to get in the playoffs. And, uh, and I don't actually think there's a, a team in this league that hasn't got either the trap door below them or, or sort of the glory of getting in the playoffs um, still to play for. So um, every game is as tough as as tough as that. And I, 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 at half time, I couldn't see how we could go one nil down mm. in that game of football today. But that's the unpredictability mm. of the league. Um, I suppose that's what happened. And and one one maybe just about the fair result on chances created on on dominance of play. I think we should have won. It's been a question I've had to ask quite a lot through no fault of anyone's, but yeah. the back three seems to change a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. We just seem to be getting injuries or, or suspension here yeah. and there. And again, you were alongside Dylan, who I think did magnificent out of position. Yeah, today. Dylan done brilliant. Um, <clears throat> it's not easy to come on loan anywhere um, as a young player and, and play, especially out of position. Um, so he adapted brilliantly. He's done really well when he's played in midfield. and. I've always got the security of Ollie next to me, who who provides uh, such a range of qualities um, that I can rely on as someone next to me. And through no fault of anyone's, really, I've been suspended. Hadji's been suspended. He's yeah. now away with Tanzania, yeah. and Kobe's now picked up a little niggle. So it's sort of something that, which is why you have the squad, I suppose. Mm. Um, and I suppose it is a little bit round pegs and square holes. Um, but Dylan done brilliant today, yeah. But that is testament to you guys, isn't it? You yeah. It, well, you, for example, as well, coming back in and, and you know looking sound well, that's and, it. and doing what you do. Yeah, that's it. I, I, I thought it took me a little bit maybe against Ed Fleet to find my feet. And York, tough, really tough game, to be honest. I thought their centre-forward played really well on the day. And maybe as attributes that are strong points for him that aren't strong points for me, it might have been a bit of a mismatch that way. And I've got attributes that I'm better at. Maybe his weak points are. Um, but no, I really enjoyed it out there today. And, and the gaffers played Ryan Glover in midfield today. And... And we're talking about having to put Dylan into centre half. Uh, there was no, he didn't need to put Ryan Glover in there. That just shows how versatile the players in this squad are. That even without being forced to, we can we can play anyone anywhere really. Well, it is the business end. I know that's a massive yeah. cliche, but you know, getting to the final bit of the season, there's still confidence. There's still a good dressing room. Yeah, it's just all positive going forward. Oh, a million percent. Um, this team doesn't know where its ceiling is really, um, and. I'm still fully confident, as is everyone in there, that we can we can get in the playoffs, and then it's then it's down to us to get the job done. We've got I think is it six games left now, um, 18 points to play for. Um, there's no reason we can't <clears throat> we can't finish comfortably in the playoffs. I would like to think, um, but that's down to us, um, down to our mentality, down to our performance, and then hopefully we end up on the right side of results.